Now joining me is Sima Hernandez. Uh, now she should have joined me earlier, and that's my bad. Uh, she ran against uh, Beto O'Rourke in, in in their Democratic primary uh, in an effort to take on Ted Cruz in that Senate race. Uh, now she's going to take on John Cornyn, uh, the other Republican senator in Texas. So Sima, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Chank. Uh, no problem. And. Uh, Seriously, I, I'd like to apologize to you for not having you on uh, during that primary when we should have. Uh, and uh, and that is my oversight, my mistake. And so I'd like to make it up to you in, in every way that we can. Uh, and I wanna ask you actually about that run against Beto O'Rourke uh, before we get to, to your new campaign against Cornyn. Um, you got 24% of the vote with uh, almost no media coverage at all. Uh, and very little money. Can I just ask first, how much money had you raised? I had raised approximately about $10,000 and I spent $5,000 to get on the ballot. So I literally ran a campaign on one tenth of 1% of what my opponent ran on, which was $4.6 million that he spent during the primary. So 4.6 million versus 10,000 and somehow you got 24% of the vote. How in the world did you do that? Well, I attribute that to all of the grassroots um, activists that are out there that we connected with, with the indigenous tribes here in Texas that I'm still in connection with. And I just tapped into the resources that I had with a little bit of money that I had to travel across the state of Texas and spread the message of reform uh, to anyone and everyone who would listen. And we flew technically under the radar. So that was important to, to use the activism, my network, to get the message across. So. Would you characterize yourself as more progressive than Beto O'Rourke? Yes, and I quite honestly think that I'm sometimes too far left, even for my DSA comrades. Wow, okay, so you're DSA and sometimes a little left of them. Okay, fascinating. So, um, I, you know, that race is over, so we can move on. But, uh, but you were the more progressive candidate, I think, by uh, most measures, and if. Uh, your DSA and a little left of DSA, I think that everybody would say it's fair to say you were more uh, to the left of, of certainly Beto O'Rourke. Uh, so now let's talk about the new race, you're running against John Cornyn. Uh, so uh, first off, how do you plan on uh, beating him in Texas, given that you're gonna have similar challenges, right? Now look, you earned the respect of progressives uh, by doing Amazing in that primary, uh, given the context uh, of it. But you know the mainstream media, uh, they're not gonna wanna cover it. Uh, so how are we gonna get past that? But we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time as we ran on a campaign of progress, campaign of reform, and tapped into every single grassroots activist um, network that I have, and also with the um, kind uh, <laughs> interviews from organizations like TYT and other uh, independent media channels that would help us spread that message. I think this is this is a time to definitely step up our game and um, spread that message across the state. We need to raise a lot of money. We are not taking any corporate PAC or PAC money. Uh, the only type of money that we are taking in our campaign is grassroots donations as well as PACs that are aligned with our progressive platforms such as National Nurses United, Our Revolution, Justice Democrats, any really organization that is aligned with our campaign that wants to support us, we will accept um, that PAC money up to $2,700, which is about how much an individual can donate maximum. But we want to definitely focus on campaigning and spreading that message. And how we do that is by getting as much money as possible into our campaign. Um, and the re website uh, is uh, SemaForTexas.com. And if you wanna give SemaForTexas.com slash donate. Sema, let's talk a little bit more about how you're gonna run the campaign. And let's talk about policy. So you said uh, you're to the left of DSA in some uh, instances. So Cornyn, of course, if it becomes competitive, uh, will go nuts over that and say, "Oh, Texas doesn't want a socialist and she's with the Democratic Socialists of America, etc. How do you plan on countering that? 
Well, simply using his own record against him, we know that he is catering to lobbyists and there's a record of the lobbyists that he meets with to show that the Texas voters and his constituents that he doesn't prioritize us as constituents, he prioritizes the lobbyists. We need to fight him hard on health care and unequivocally support Medicare for all, single payer health care, unequivocally support the Green New Deal in the Senate as well as the House, support other fellow progressives who are running on a campaign of reform, including right now with the government shutdown looming this Friday. We need to come back hard on immigration policies and denounce anyone who supports those policies. Right now we have a lot of indigenous tribes of Texas, as well as people from Standing Rock at the border, bringing attention to the border wall that is going to interfere with the natural parks and wildlife that are there and uh, people's homes in using imminent domain to build the wall. So we need to come hard against these policies, against these these politicians who are supporting this kind of bigotry, the racist immigration policies that are being imposed on people of color, because that's exactly what it is. And anyone who caves into any kind of wall funding is doing that. It's validating Trump's bigoted racist language and racist policies and his racist um, presidency. And we, we cannot allow that. We cannot allow him to do it. We cannot allow John Cornyn to win in the state of Texas. It doesn't look like you're going to soften any of your stances in the general election. <laughs> no, not at all. So, uh, of course, Beto somewhat famously did that against Ted Cruz, and he wound up losing by a couple of points. Uh, but uh, before that, my guess is that you will have plenty of establishment Democrats who are challenging you. Um, because they're going to say, oh, well, no, no, no. In order to be able to win, we have to prove we're just as corporate as. John Cornyn is, and that we love the energy companies in Texas as much as John Cornyn does, uh, and and that has historically not been a winning position. Uh, you know, I, I realized as you were uh, talking about Cornyn's position that you could argue, and I don't mean to besmirch socialism this way, but that he's also socialist, but just for the rich. Um, he he loves the oil subsidies and the giveaways to multinational corporations and the wealthy. He just did a giant tax cut for the wealthy. Just doesn't want to help anyone that isn't rich. And that is absolutely correct. His type of redistribution of wealth is more wealth to the wealthy. My type of redistribution to the wealth is actually leveling the playing field for everyone, specifically for the working poor, so that we have more ability to have disposable money so that we can contribute into the economy by creating jobs and good paying jobs, sustainable jobs, creating sustainable energy and sustainable infrastructure, because that is the future. The way that we're doing things now is ensuring our demise as a human society. You know, I used to say, uh, I can't wait for the day that somebody like Sima Hernandez comes up out of nowhere and defeats uh, someone like John Corner. Well, we already had that day. <laughs> so <laughs> now it appears that it might be a little bit more likely. So, uh, so Sima, I think you're onto something here, and I think it's going to be really interesting to watch. So, uh, what's your plan on, on fighting uh, against those establishment Democrats when they come? Because they will come. Well, they definitely will come, but I'm hoping that um, independent media such as yourself, because we know the the corporate media will not step up to uh, put a debate together. But your your platform, as well as other platforms, will allow for a debate to happen, and that's something that wasn't happening in 2018 during the primary. We had no debate, no media coverage, and this time around, I will demand more vocally and demand a debate between every single candidate who wants to challenge me in the, for the Democratic nomination, but as well as having a an open forum to challenge John Cornyn. So Seema, um, what, out of curiosity for the folks at home who don't know, what, what were you doing before you decided to run for office? Well, before I decided to run for office, I uh, was working in healthcare for about six years. I went to college to earn my RN degree, and I couldn't uh, finish that because of my issues with with poverty and how that inflicted my my being and and becoming educated and being able to fulfill what I wanted to do was work in healthcare. So when that didn't work out, I dedicated my time to activism and raising my children and coaching baseball and using baseball as an avenue to. Um, help our community become more civically engaged. I got you, and 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 I noticed the Bernie Sanders poster uh, in the background. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you campaign for him back in 2016? I campaigned for him as much as that as much as I could, given my my circumstances, being a mom and and having very <laughs> limited amount of time. I just saw the poster behind me, um, but. 
what we definitely want to do is is bring attention in any way that we can and using our own skills and talents to engage people. And what I happen to do is coach baseball and I coach baseball for about all about three of my kids, my little one didn't get to play because he was busy campaigning with me across the state and uh, used baseball as an avenue to educate people. And um, quite honestly, there isn't many people out there that are women coaching baseball. That's certainly true. There isn't a lot of women out there doing what you do, period. Uh, so everybody check out SemaForTexas.com, get more information and SemaForTexas.com slash donate if you wanna support someone not taking corporate PAC money and who's a bold fighter against Republicans. Seema, thank you so much for joining us, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Chank.